the Honorable Kofi Adams, Chief of the Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, Commandant Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Commandant Training and Doctrine Command, Director Generals at the General Headquarters, Senior Officers, Distinguished Invited Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. I am happy to be part of this year's Land Combat Firepower Demonstration for the students of the Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Course 45. I understand this exercise is part of the building blocks towards their career development as future commanders and staff officers who will be entrusted with the security of Ghana and the respective countries of our allied students. I gather this training model focused on Ghana's concept of operations and capabilities, nature of the land environment, amongst other learning objectives, which I intended to highlight Ghana Armed Forces joint firepower in support of a subunit operating independently as a task force. From the briefings I received at the various stands and the flow of the main defensive battle we witnessed, I can proudly say the exercise was a success and the various stakeholders have identified the valuable lessons that must be implemented for further success. There's another requirement we must pursue even as we seek to provide the needed security for our dear country. Evidently, the prevailing security situation in the West African environment and beyond stands to test our resolve as a nation. The dynamics keeps evolving and for you as personnel who play an important role in the national security architecture, the Ghana Armed Forces must stand in readiness to guarantee the security of this country to drive nation building and economic growth. As stakeholders, let us not relent on our constitutional duties and responsibilities to shape plans, policies, and contingencies in the defense of our homeland. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I commend the armed forces for embarking on operations such as HALT, Calm Life, Ahonjo, Boafo, among others, which sought and seek to preserve the peace and tranquility. In more recent times, the response to the Akosombo Down flood disaster and the support offered to the civil and local authorities is also commendable. I say I equal to all the units involved, and particularly 48 Engineer Regiment and the Ghana Navy and Air Force. Yeah. 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 May, good, may the good Lord continue to grant the armed forces the strength and knowledge in all your effort towards national security matters and developmental objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next 15 months, Ghana will be ushered into an electioneering period. The Fourth Republican era has seen us develop a culture where elections are conducted in reality, peace, and quiet. The role of the security agencies, especially the military, is crucial. I urge you to bring your professionalism to bear as you prepare to reactivate your operational plans towards election year 2024. We must preserve our status as a democratic nation and jealously guard ourselves against seemingly innocuous or patriotic activities that have the potential to derail our achievements over the years. More training exercises such as this must be organized where necessary to place the armed forces in readiness to defeat and neutralize potential adversaries whose objective is to see us fail. Together, we must continue on this successful plan, on this successful path, as we march forward as a nation. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate all the participating units and personnel for their dedication towards a very successful exercise. To the staff officers at the command and general headquarters, 
Well done for the support and significant roles you always play in federals of training in the Ghana Armed Forces and in this land combat firepower demonstration in particular. To all our invited guests, my sincere appreciation for your presence and enthusiasm. I wish you a successful journey back to your various destinations. The Minister of National Security, the Chief of Defense Staff, I think the Minister is not here, so the Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, Commandant Ghana Armed Forces Command and Staff College, distinguished invited guests and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Long live Ghana, long live the Ghana Armed Forces. Thank you. Thank you.